Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a fun variation on a cradle with I think a really cute little entry added on to it. It's simple and easy, but it's also really pretty and fun to do. But first, of course, the advert for my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like my videos because it really, really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Plus, it will keep you up to date with new aerial tutorials and aerial videos coming all the time. So take a minute, hit subscribe, and thank you very much. Okay, moving on, let's do some pro tips. My first pro tip is in the transition starting this move to lean back quite far with your shoulders. If your body is farther away from your hoop, you're gonna have more space to bring your leg through and it's just gonna be simpler and easier for you all around. My second pro tip is to use your legs when you are in this little transition position. The more you can squeeze your muscles in your legs, keep them strong and straight, the easier it's gonna to be to hold this little position. Also, squeezing your legs against the hoop is going to help you a lot. And finally, my third pro tip is to choose which hand you're using wisely. So you could grab your foot with either hand. And just a reminder, you guys probably have encountered this already, but if you grab opposite hand to opposite foot behind you, it's going to be much harder to bend back. You're going to have less of a back bend. If you grab same hand to same foot, you can bend back more, but your knee is a little bit more twisted. So think about which hand you want to use or try both of them and see which one works better for you. Okay, those are your pro tips. So now let's break it down. Start sitting in the hoop and place one hand on the opposite side of the top of the hoop. So I'm crossing my hand over, putting it on the opposite side of the span set and pretty close to the top. Take your other arm, circle it around in a big circle to look dramatic and pretty, and grab near the bottom of the hoop. This is the point where you should be leaning your shoulders really far back. Take the same leg as the top arm, lift it up, and you're going to thread it through between your body and your hoop, and also between your two arms. I'm kind of resting my leg on that bottom arm. Next, I slide my hips out the back of the hoop, keeping that front thigh with the back of the thigh against the hoop, and straightening both legs, squeezing them nice and hard. My legs should be in sort of a small V shape here. Now, my opposite shoulder from the leg that's in front should be braced against the opposite side of the hoop. That was a lot of opposites, but I think you guys get what I mean. And that's gonna hold me in the hoop. I'm basically in a cradle position already, and I can let go with both my arms and circle around to grab my foot with either hand. If you want, you can straighten your front leg. That's a really pretty variation on this, although both legs bent is also pretty. And finally, I'm going to let go with my hand that is grabbing my back foot, come back into a traditional cradle, reach up, grab the top of the hoop, Slide my hips down and back so I can bring my opposite leg back into the hoop and come back to a seated position inside the hoop. And that was it. That was, you know, that was the whole thing. It was pretty simple, but I think it's really cute. It's really pretty. It's nice to have a variation on cradle because this is a good rest position. Anyway, I'll remind you guys one more time before I go to please do subscribe. Please do like. It really does make a big difference. And with that, I will see you guys next time.